is the Final Fantasy VII demo. Yes, mate. Heads up. What in the hell? Got reinforced armor plated, but the internals can be overloaded. Yes, mate. Who loves games? Yes, mate. So, I've finally played the Final Fantasy VII demo. Yes, mate. Guys, it was worth the wait. It was a great demo. I really enjoyed myself. So, I think first thing that I noticed when I got my hands on with the demo, it felt to me a little graphically rough around the edges. Now, I'm wondering if maybe that is to do with the fact that the PS4 Pro is really stretched with the game. And, you know, I think we're not going to see a really high-end version until we see what is released for PS5. Another thing to take into account is when I'm at these events playing, I'm normally really close to the TV screen. I normally have to push myself real far back to be able to just get it in a happy medium kind of comfort zone of where I'm ready to play. But I do wonder if it just looks a little bit rough around the edges just because I was actually a lot closer to the screen than what I normally would be. Order down in flames. So the main area to comment on with this game is the combat. What I would expect, what would you expect? How is that going to differ from what the original game was? For me, that is something that is key for Final Fantasy VII. So I think the most controversial point with this is the fact that the original Final Fantasy VII that we know and love is where that turn-based combat really did well. With the new game, you are running around in action, a bit like how it looks like with Final Fantasy XV, which is also another game I've still got to play. So you are fighting in real time, so you're moving around. Interestingly, you're able to freely switch between the characters. So in the demo, you're playing with Cloud and you're playing with Barrett. Now's our chance. So this is a really good point of the demo. They made sure that they got into the gameplay Cloud with your close ranged sword action. Lightning magic. And Barra for your ranged shooting. So this was a good balance to be able to test how that worked in close and in distant combat. And the most important thing for me is that you can switch characters on the fly. Don't keep me waiting in suspense next time. It makes it turn based. As you're playing as well, you have your ATB, your level of charge. So you might use that up, you might launch a spell, you then might not even be able to use items until your ATB is charged. You might need to then run into action, deliver some attacks, deliver some shots, and wait until you can then deliver some next specials. So it worked quite well for me. I found playing against the Scorpion Sentinel character, I was right up there, up close with Cloud, delivering blows hitting a spell or using some healing, using an item or using um, cure, using some magic points. And, and then when my ATB gorge was gone, I'd be switching over to Barrett and doing some of that ranged damage. So the demo that I played, I had about 15 minutes. Um, it felt like less time. I didn't feel like I had enough time to actually play the demo at Eurogamer. I got right into the end of the Scorpion boss stage, but I didn't quite get to take it down and finish it off. Give it everything you've got. In the time limit that I had, which is a little bit disappointing. I would have liked more. So I had, you had sort of a few levels that you fight down. You get to take out a few characters, experiment with like ranged soldiers or ranged flying creatures or running up the cloud and really getting in there. I just would have liked to have seen a little bit more, um, but it is enough to keep the Final Fantasy VII buzz alive. I am still buzzing for seeing more, playing more. And the big question is, is am I gonna keep my PS4 pre-order? Or am I considering maybe, well, let's see what happens with PS5. So it's gonna be quite a gap between when the remake releases on PS4, so I'll be able to play it on my PS4 Pro. And then if you guys know what I'm like with consoles, I don't buy in straight away. So PS5 might come out, 
I'll probably then wait for the second model with the PS5 Pro anyway. So I've got a lot of games that I'll be able to enjoy on my current gen before I think a couple of years into the future. Um, and then I'll be probably, you know, upgrading some of my games moving over to PS5. I don't feel like I've had my PS4 for long enough. So I am sticking with my pre-order. I can't wait to get in on the game. I'm looking forward to it. Let's hope some new news and updates come very soon regarding more Final Fantasy VII information. Yes, mate.